But hey, YouTube, welcome to the second half of the stream that I had to split into two for you. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for clicking the video. All right. Uh, hi, everyone. I got myself some, uh, some tea, so we're good to continue. But before I do, when I went to make my tea, I noticed on the BLB screen, <laughs> I completely forgot I put this in. Kat, do you remember what context that was set under? I'm sure you know, but like, a worm is all butt. I don't remember under what context that was said. But you know, very thought-provoking stuff. If you think about it, a worm is just butt. That's it. <laughs> uh, it made me laugh because I saw it and I, it was one of those messages I forgot that I put in there, but yeah. Anyway. Think about it. You never need context. <laughs> yeah, I just I honestly don't remember at what point, but it made me laugh either way. can out of this spare stuff, um, except, except this, which I'll just temporarily put here. This one... No. Alright. We're all good. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Can't keep up with this truffle production. I'm so behind. <laughs> I have another batch already ready to go. Oh, I forgot to put some garlic away.
I wonder if it's time yet. I doubt it. Maybe I should look at a clever way of indicating when it's time to go visit the slimes. <laughs> there might be a way to do it. I won't worry about it now, but later. I'll, I'll keep that in the back of my mind. Aside from looking at the computer. We might be able to deduce a clever way of finding out when slimes are ready. The game tell you when a slime hatches? Okay. But not so much when the slime hatches, but more when there's slime to be harvested. Like, do they drop it every day, or is it like every two days, every three days? I'm making this part of my routine as well, because... I mean, it's not bad. It's some extra income. And it's just there. Be okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, all right. Why am I holding on to the gem fruit? To my understanding, you can't make wine out of it, right? Like, you can't make wine out of this. Pretty certain. Hardwood. 
I don't want to split it just yet, so temporary. Very temporary. Hello, a chat member that wants to be a cow. Is there something I can use that's shorter than that? But hey, uh, day in real life, yeah, wrapping up. It's been a long one, so just chilling. Day in game, it's going well. I'm getting more hardwood to solve the truffle crisis, where the pigs are just going absolutely berserk finding truffle. That's not too bad. Just two more and then I have it. Uh, stumps dropping mahogany seeds in vanilla. I believe they are, yeah. It's something they changed with the launch of uh, 1.4. Just to address the complaint that there wasn't enough hardwood in the game. Hold on, before I forget. 10% chance? There you go. Yeah. Uh. I mean, this should be enough. Like, this is just my reliable heal item. It's just very good to get a big heal and not apply any extra buffs if you don't want them. I guess this, this is kind of in the way now. I just realized I can't walk through here anymore. But I guess it's not a big deal because I've got my staff now of teleportation. So, you know what? Aesthetic. You like magma caps? Mag magma caps are good, they're just rarer. Whereas in um, planting cactus fruit on the island, not only are they easier to acquire, but also they can contribute towards your prismatic challenge because they count as uh, as green. So you know, it's not they overheal a lot. Yeah, but I mean, I guess I look at it this way: it's like in the time it takes me to get ten magma caps, I can get probably three times more cactus fruit and. It's not like there's any enemy that does... In vanilla, we're talking purely vanilla here. Does so much damage that you need the extra health. It's kind of like... If I get hit that badly, the cactus fruit already does enough. And if I have a lot of it, it's kind of the same as having extra health. It's just... You can heal more often. And acquire it more often. At least that's, that's my view on it. Um, they're just harder to acquire. Whereas in this, like, I got, I got so much of this, like, I can just keep chomping on them. I mean, at the end of the day, the day, do what works for you, but I think this is my preference. 
spicy eel constantly and then just have something like cactus fruit to chew on to fill in the gaps in between. Love spicy eel, yeah. Just... First crystallarium should always be ruby. Set you up for that sweet, sweet spicy eel. I know it's tempting to put a diamond in your first crystallarium, but trust me, you want the spicy eel. Do I like fish ponds? Feel like they're unnecessarily complex. Uh, okay. So for me, I like the look of them, and it makes a farm just more aesthetic, so that's why I tend to build them. In terms of a playthrough where I'm looking at efficiency, I think the one I would put down would probably be just stonefish. Because they they give you stone. Pretty frequently. Not it's not like extremely frequently frequently, but it's enough that it kinda keeps you with a steady supply of stone. Um Diamond is for triple shot espresso. Yeah, but it does okay, here's the reason I go spicy eel. The ruby. There's a few reasons. Um, triple shot espresso only gives you a movement speed buff, it doesn't heal you. Spicy eel gives you a slower movement speed. But, it heals you for quite a bit, and it also provides a luck buff, which is extremely handy when you're trying to progress through the skull caverns. Having extra luck, fantastic. And, triple- it's not like triple shot isn't easy to make, either. Like, coffee is pl pretty plentiful, it's not like it's scarce. So, yeah, that's why I prefer spicy eel. It just does more for you. I mean, take a look at this playthrough. Consider all the items I found in the Skull Caverns, right? Like, in the first year. How, how many prismatic shards did I find? <laughs> I believe that the final total was eight. Just do both. Uh, I mean, I am doing both right now, but I'm speaking purely in the context of, like, your first crystallarium. Because it's going to be a while before you get your second one. I would make my first crystallarium a ruby, and that's why. Everything after that, yeah, sure, start a diamond factory. That's what I'm doing. Because it helps get, um... Dust. Fairy dust. Why do dark monsters do nothing? Uh, it's part of this mod. There's a quest to make peace with them. So I have made peace with, peace with the monsters. We are friendly. We are on good terms, much like Krobus. No jade? What does jade do? I might be unaware, but... I mean... Diamond has the benefit of not only selling well, but also you can make a... Uh, what do you call it? Fairy dust with it. Staircases? Uh, yeah, but I don't think the problem... Again, think about how often you're going to use a staircase. That's, that's kind of the, the thing. I think the problem would be more about survivability and being able to get mine shafts. I think that's more valuable than being able to skip one floor. Especially if you're placing bombs down anyway, it's just... You'd have to save up like 10 jade for it to be useful and I don't know. I think it's better spent just being able to have... This constantly that you're just using it and then stacking it with triple shot because both of these movement speeds stack so you can have both at the same time. So when you have both applied, you just move so quickly. Again, just speaking purely about the first Crystallarium. You can do whatever you want after the fact, but the very first one, the one that you get from the bundle, I think Ruby is the most valuable thing you can do. That's just my opinion. Not saying, you know, oh no, I'm right, everyone must do it, but this is, this is my reasoning why. 
and why I wouldn't do any of the other ones. For me, that is the most useful thing. It lets me get around quicker, not just in the mines, but everywhere else, right? Like, I, I can just eat it if I want to move faster in a day and stack it with triple shot. Uh, when I'm in the mines, it provides extra luck. So it makes it easier to find uh, mine shafts and all the other goodies that can come along the way, like hidden rooms and treasure chests. It's To me, it does more, and I feel like some of the reason I've been lucky in this playthrough has definitely been because of that. Outside of my typical usual uh, luck. Oh, yeah, there you go. Slime is hatched. But, you know, do do what works best for you. Where is other child? Okay, that can handle most of that, I think. Today is fruit day. I mean, I have watered uh, where the slime is, so slime has food. I just want to see if that little enclosure worked or not. Got it. Oh, I see, because there's grass over there, that's why. to the park. First, I guess I should drop all this stuff off. Um, I didn't pay attention to how many more reserve jars I need in here. Uh, Thirteen. Okay. There we go. Alright. That's a full... And I, I could put more in there, but I don't want to. I just want to keep it neat. Like, I know I could add some there, but I just... I don't want to. I typically just add a, a light here in the middle. Okay.
Probably on the topic of like the spicy eel and ruby, I should probably go trade ruby for spicy eel. I haven't done it in a while. So there's probably just a whole stockpile of it right now. It's not too bad. Let's just do that. Oh uh, yeah, I can't get through here anymore. <laughs> oh, it's a saving. Ugh, that sign is so helpful. Pay a visit to the sewers as well. <sighs> Still gotta go to the island. There's probably a whole bunch there for me to do too. It just all piles on onto one day. Standing around. They like almost like it's almost like they got stuck. Like they can't figure it out. Okay. Alright, hardwood first. mushroom type. Just reminds me of a uh, vile plume <laughs> from Pokemon.
Ach. Okay, Island next. Yep, <laughs> everything is ready. <laughs> I have to be here all day. Wish I could put Juno Mohawks here. There's space for them. I wonder if there's a mod that'll let you do that. It's like island buildings. Imagine being able to have a coop and stuff here as well. Here's an idea. So, uh, I mean, I have been saying that we could do with more furniture for outside. Why don't they just remove the restriction where indoor furniture has to be indoor? Like, just let... allow you to put it anywhere. Like, why can't a table be outside, for example? Like, okay, some of them might not make sense, like a bed, but, I mean, that's your choice, right? Like, if you want to do weird things. You could argue that you could have an outdoor bed. If it's undercover. Would that be the worst thing in the world if they allowed all indoor furniture to be outdoors as well?
Oh, this old thing. My the I'm just gonna grab these ones. I heal for more anyway. Okay. Uh let me think. I think I can make the last two that I need. Wait, do I need two? Yeah, two more. <sighs> One more. And then we'll be caught up <laughs> this truffle oil factory. I'm prepared for anything they might throw at me. thought about two things at once. I need to think about where I'm going to put lampposts as well, like strategically. That's, yeah, it's worth coming here every day. That's just a huge extra amount of money that I just got just by visiting here. Um, oh wait, wrong, wrong, wrong. Dope, adorable, but not what I was here for. I'm just here to look at a couple of things. Yeah, see, look at this. There's quite a few cosmetic things we can get here. Pretty and beautiful. I mean, for now. I'm just, I don't want to overdo it, but this is just a little bit of uh, extra detailing I can do, right? I really, I really like this. Such nice detailing. Um. I just bought others just to see what they're like, that's all. Just not gonna go overboard with it, but it's just... I keep doing that. It's just nice to be able to have the option, you know, of just being able to... Which I guess I could... Ooh, that's... That's a neat thought. Oh, you can do that. You can put it in grass as well. That, okay, I, yeah, this is cool. like that quite a bit. That's a nice little touch, and then we'll just put them around the place randomly, I think, just...
Just adds a little bit of extra detail. <laughs> uh, uh. I feel like I'm doing what Bob Ross does, you know, like, oh, no, just a little, little tree here. We're going to do a little tree, just some fine strokes and oh, what's that next to Mr. Tree? Oh, we have a little lake. Look at the lake. <laughs> oh, dear. And you just get, you just get this color, this nice sky blue. Uh, but no, that's cool. I, I like it. All right. Slow progress. I think the color that he uses quite a bit is Prussian blue from memory. It's like how Jamie Oliver always use, uses olive oil. Bob Ross always uses Prussian blue. That's like the olive oil in the painting world. Yeah, just fill up that space, but I won't do it yet. <laughs> like, I now that I've seen what items are there, I can. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it yet, but like, I have. I have ideas. Trust the process. I will get there eventually. this and I'm still gonna put I'm, I gotta get some hay bales as well but yeah, just little details here and there right, wait why am I bringing the milk with me So I figured out what I'm going to play this weekend on YouTube. I was having a hard time thinking, like, what I could play now that I'm done with the, uh, the Zelda 2 Enhanced Edition. I stumbled across a f another fan game, but this one's not an official one. Um, that people say is good, so I'm going to try it. But it's a game about Waluigi, and... He's probably the only Nintendo character that hasn't gotten a dedicated game to this to this day. I think almost every Nintendo character has 
either a game of their own or like where they play a major role and Waluigi hasn't, so the fans did the work and made a game about Waluigi, which I mean listen, if I can do a warrior voice, I can do a Waluigi voice. A Walu a Waluigi voice is just a nasally warrior voice at the end of the day that's a bit more high pitched. I can do that. So it should be fun. Wait, what, what is on today? We've had the egg festival. What's... It's a dance. It's a dance. No, wait, it's community day. It's community day. I keep forgetting about community day. Alright, honest opinion. Should I leave it like this? Or should I put these two here? And then put two more... Um, looms. The only thing about the looms is it's kind of overkill, I think, but... Yeah, I don't know. It's still debating. Because I have a rabbit as well, and... I almost feel tempted to build another coop and put it here. And then have the rabbit pen down here. So then we have shape pig... Nothing but chickens and, I guess, dinosaur. Or maybe I could do, like, rabbit-dinosaur combo. That might also be a good idea. And then have chicken-duck. I kind of like that, now that I said that out loud. That seems like a good idea. Kind of waiting to see if this can be made into wine in the mod, or if it's just still just something I should just sell. Let's go check on our slime. Oh yeah, it works. Look at that. I really like the look of this. <laughs> it's so simple but nice. Um, I should go get move the. I should start getting slime eggs now because I have a bunch of slimes. So let me just go take a look because I think I found one. I just don't remember where I put it. There. Okay, and uh, let's go to the monster loot. There we go. I need coal. Okay, it's oh, fine. We'll do it one at a time for now, and I think I have a chest somewhere here. There. Okay. Oh, it's community day. I can't go see Robin. I wanted to see Robin. To paint my buildings and get another thing started, but oh well. Okay. Uh, chest here, I think. And then the rest can be presses up this way. That one's kind of stuck there, but okay. Since I'm not going to Ginger Island anymore, I'm just going to leave this in here. I think that's probably for the best. Oh. <laughs> I keep doing this. Um slime as well. We should probably leave the slime. To 
Then quartz should be okay for that. Yeah, let's let's go. Oh, I haven't been to Badlands today, actually. Hold on. What are you doing? How how did you get all the way down here? It's quite the distance to roam. Wait, here's a free movie ticket, what? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. I mean, it's okay, time doesn't completely progress when you go see a movie. It doesn't become late instantly, so I can still do this. No, 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 no. Whereas waifu. Oh, she. Community day. Right, 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 right. Where is she headed, though? I think she's just, she's just coming home. Let's go. I think I gotta remember this cosmetic stuff, and this dude is covering it again. The governor is here. Ooh. Okay, hang on. I gotta see what she likes.
cotton candy. Okay. Let's hope that that dude gets off the machine, eh? Plus, this gives me a chance to drink my tea, so. Ah. Uh. Natural wonders, exploring our vibrant world. The Fern Islands, a tropical paradise 80 miles off the southern coast. The islands form due to volcanic activity in the region and are still growing. Oh, that's interesting. Sophia seems to be having a good time. Sophia is really enjoying her cotton candy. The warm climate of the Southern Ocean allows for extreme biodiversity. In short, the island is teeming with life. Now, we move to the north, to the bustle of Zuzu City. It's a world of concrete and steel, illuminated by the glow of city light. The conditions may be harsh, but we still find abundant life. Far to the west, alone in the vast gem sea, lies Prairie Island. In spite of its name, this land is home to a diverse array of natural biomes. The island is known for its abundant population of uh, these creatures. Finally, we return to the mainland to visit one of the most pleasant areas of the continent, Stardew Valley. The temperate climate of the valley is the perfect home for a variety of woodland creatures and insects. What a beautiful place. The movie has concluded for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. Let me finish my tea chat before it gets cold. Okay. Oh, still on the machine. Get off the machine. There's stuff I want. It's so annoying. Okay. At any rate, um, we still got time in the day. What did I do? I could have just gone to the... It's fine. Oh, this is done. I don't remember those things still, uh, they hurt quite a bit. <laughs> it's okay.
every time I hear that noise, I think they're about to do something. What do I need all this stones for? Uh, factory. Stone is used in just about everything. You need it for crystallariums, you need it for buildings, you need it for preserve jars. Yeah, there's a lot. I'm just ramping up my factories. I need to get more Junimo houses, which are made out of stone as well. I need it more than wood. Wood I can get a bit easier. Because the forest is just set to the south, so... Plenty there. I have to go out of my way to get the stone. Factoria crossover. Uh, I mean, I call it a factory, but like, what else do you say? It's just a bunch of machines in a room. So, yeah, I would say that's like the correct terminology. Bunch of machines in a room all doing a single task. Can I just stress test something here? Okay, so you still can't do anything with gem berries, so I should just sell them. If I can't put them in here, I can't put them into kegs, so there's no point to them still. They're effectively <laughs> a fruit diamond, I guess. But yeah, it's a gem berry, it's... It's a fruit diamond. Jeez, they've already started. Look at the pets, many pets. Is ready to. I'm gonna choose not to put it in. I'm gonna wait a day. You know what? Just keep doing it. It's fine. I had my indicators. Let's just make sure. Yeah, can't put it in. Okay.
Once again, if I miss anything, let me know. Oh. Wait, was that? I guess. <laughs> Just grab one more. Alright. Ooh, what do they want? Five... Ooh, do I have those? I might not have those. Yeah, I forgot about the quartz. Okay. Hold on. Geodes. Uh, I guess I have to go to the icy section. Today's not the day to do it. Um, give me a sec. Now you know what, before I do that, let me do the rest of it. Tuesdays. Thank <laughs> you. 
I will sell the gem berries. So just remember there's a tempered sword as well to acquire. Which, uh, I mean, maybe. Still counts, maybe. As completion, having all the items. I do want to progress the pond, so I guess I'll go look for these geodes. There's only five of them, it should be easy. Keyword being should be. <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. Yeah, it's five. Okay. I mean, let's go to the equivalent floors and see what happens. I might have to change the mines back to normal. Probably easier to do it that way, to be honest. Yeah, you know what? I might, I might just do that. If I don't see one appear, I'll, I'll do it. Doesn't look like it's gonna drop it. It's okay, I'd much rather go cut wood.
wonder if these are all Andy's trees. And just taking his, uh, his lumber. Stealing lumber when it's dark. Eh, you know how Warrior does. Through the cover of darkness. I mean, it's, it's not like this is the most stealth thing I can do, right? At the end of the day, a tree does have to fall down in the woods. So it will make a sound. Doesn't make a sound if no one's around to hear it. I'm around to hear it. Andy's house is like right behind. <laughs> One sec, chat. Just need to tend to some matters. Stand by. Okay, things should be back to normal. Sorry about that. You may proceed with the uh, normal. Normal things. Hold up. Just opening the door. It's a little warm in here again. <laughs> Make the bots fall if they want to spam. I mean, they're gonna get banned anyway, it's kind of pointless. The easiest course of action is simply just uh, ban the exact sentence they're posting, and then that, that deals with it. But you know, I don't know, Twitch should uh definitely get onto that you would think that um i don't know if an account is posting the same message over and over again it's a multiple multiple things that it would uh flag them as a bad account but no it's okay so stream is back to normal you can proceed as usual
The same thing is happening on YouTube as well, it's, it's not just here. It's almost to the point where I <laughs> might have to be like, alright, I need moderators now. I think we've, we've kind of crossed that threshold, we've been lucky enough to not need them, really, up until this point, but... The need is starting to uh, become more apparent as of late. Not just from a bot perspective, but like, on the other occasion we'd be getting like the immature viewer as well, so. I'm sorry that, uh, that took attention away from the stream. I hope you do understand. But you know, we, we can't have nice things. It's not surprising as well, um, towards the end of last year there was a particular day where the number of Twitch accounts doubled in less than 24 hours. So someone, someone or a group of people clearly found out how to get around Twitch's spam protection. Like in a single day the number of Twitch accounts doubled. <laughs> so. At, I knew that at some point there would definitely be, like, just a bunch of bots. It's alright. Uh, just for- I guess just for safety I'm gonna enact, like, uh, emote-only mode when I go offline as well. Because that's something that, um, has been recommended. When you're not on stream, to, uh, set your chat to be- Emote only until you get back, so I might just have to get into the habit of doing that. Anyway, let's not pay attention to it. We move on. It's been dealt with. For now. <laughs> it's all part of the Twitch experience, yes. The experience that they're improving by adding more ads, not dealing with, uh, the glaring issues. Is fruit day. It is. Oh, I'm forgetting about the tea. Crap. So I gotta be in here every day now. It's alright. I don't feel too bad about forgetting tea, you know? <laughs> I suppose it's a rite of passage for any stream, is like. If the bot. I guess these bot spam things are like. Annoying you more than usual. It just means I guess your chat your channel is getting large enough that it They deem you as like worthy <laughs> I don't know Trying to put a positive spin to it and I guess that's the best I got
It's just dance. I can't. I can't even go see Robin again today. I've been wanting to paint and create something, but couldn't yesterday because it was Tuesday. Couldn't the day before because it was Community Day. Can't today because it's the dance. It's just I can't. Okay, this is ready. Oh crap, I accidentally chopped one, because I was tabbed, and then when I tabbed back, um, I'll just go replant it. No, you know what, it's gonna bother me. Crap. <laughs> I was checking something really quick. Sorry, chat. Ugh. like a waste of 10 minutes. <laughs> it's okay. We've all done it. Yeah. I mean, it's still better than what I usually do, which is blow the farm up. <laughs> You know, uh, understandably so, just a little distracted. I hate having to put on the follower only thing as well because I don't, I don't believe in that. Like, I like. Not having a barrier to entry to have someone chat with me. That's just how I prefer it. But at the moment, I'm gonna have to leave it like that until the end of the stream, pretty much. Just to make sure we're, we're all good. So, apologies if you did try to chat. I've been pretty good with not messing up a crop by mistake so far, like... I haven't really, uh, yeah, had, uh, issues with that.
Oh, okay. I've noticed it does that from time to time. I don't know why. I've never had that happen before. Outside of playing modded. Damn, Iridium already. Again, there's that, there's that extra milk again. Apples is here. I think I. You find me, you win. <laughs> Do sell seasonal plants, but. I mean, I can get these from the winter night market if I want. I'm gonna leave it till then. Uh... Wait, you, these two... They're never here. My mom told me to get out of the house and socialize. At least Claire is here. The flowers here are beautiful. They're such a large variety. No. <laughs> you can ask anyone to be a dance partner at this point, but no. Um... All this is going on, I think I need to restart my bot because I think I got purged by what I did. <laughs> Let me see. 
You might hear like a, a sound from Windows. Don't worry, it's me, not you. Ah, this is why we can't have nice things. Okay, let's just do a test. Okay, cool, it's working again. Just needed a little reboot. We're good. It's like such a waste of a day, but <laughs> part of the experience. All right. I can do whilst I suppose I can go get hardwood. Um, not that I'll be able to get all of it, but I guess it's a good use of time. Get them all! <laughs> Alright, I got it all. I'm gonna put this away as well while I'm at it. There's a little bit of time remaining. I know I'm really pushing it here. Just notice I had the cheese with me. Okay, chat. 
I'm gonna flick off the switch for follower only mode. Hopefully this thing was temporary. Let's just see. Three thirty one PM bot notification. What do you mean? Oh, did it just say I went live now? Oh. No, because I had I had I had to restart the bot, sorry. Uh yeah, I had a little bit of a, a thing. Like just a wave of uh spam bots. You know those follow bots that post that annoying message over and over again? It was one of those situations, so I had to put the channel into like follower only mode and all that stuff for like a minute. But, yeah, I mean, I guess URL blocking's on, but that doesn't necessarily mean it prevents that, because they could just not put a URL in their message. Anyway, how's it going, Nick? <laughs> how's things? What? Does this ha- does this new? This- <laughs> This just looks like a scam. <laughs> I'm guessing this is Golden Piggy Bank, what does this do? Deposit your hard-earned money one gold at a time. Okay, I put one in. What what does this do? Special items. It does definitely start to expand. What what does this thing do? Golden piggy bank starter. At the time of writing, it appears to be decorational novelty. You can put money into it, but cannot take it out. This is because the code does not store how much you put into it. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I looked at this. Jeez. Jeez. I thought this was going to be something like it compounds, you know? I'm very, very glad I looked at that right away. Um, just put it here. <laughs> that would have been disastrous. Like, imagine that I think that, oh, this is like a savings thing. Like, if I put it in, it'll compound. Uh-uh. See, sometimes you have to look stuff up right away. That's kind of funny, because the whole thing, the tone of that letter you get, it just feels like one of those scam letters. So that that's kind of funny. Okay. I suppose I should help them. I mean, you know what? Do it after. I got other stuff to do. I have a wow quest. <laughs> Haven't played wow. Well. Or at least not far enough to like know what it looks like. When wow first came out, it was one of those things that, uh, I was like, I should not get into this because I'm currently studying. And I feel like this is the kind of thing that would destroy me if I get hooked on it. And especially the time commitments people are talking about, yeah. 
I mean, definitely great if you want to socialize, I think, but um, definitely a poor choice because I saw so many people that would come in just like half asleep into class because they had been up. Or if you would ask them to, if they wanted to do something, they'd be like, nah, I can't, I got a raid. Like, how long does a raid go for? It's apparently multiple hours sometimes. If you want to succeed. So, I just, I can't commit to that kind of thing. Raids could go to upwards of eight hours. Yeah, pass. <laughs> Not for me. But, I mean, if you had, had fun with that, then... Hey, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rain on that parade, you know? Just, yeah, for me, uh-uh. The record raid in FF16 is like 36 hours, jeez. I mean, I've, I've done things in lengthy gaming sessions, but like, I guess... If I have to, there's always the option of getting up. It was only 18 hours? Okay. Still. That little one dancing near the flowers. Google is helpful. It is. It's also helpful is like having that person that's on every podcast where you just turn to them and go, yo, Google that for me. Oh, dude, one of the funniest instances I've seen of that is um on the shopping channel, they're debating about whether or not the moon was a star or a sun or some something like that. And one dude was insistent that, you know, it, it was... It wasn't just the moon. Like, no one was saying that the moon is just the moon. So this dude's, like, telling someone from the production staff to go Google it. <laughs> oh, man. Is flat. Oh dear. No, but it was not just that, but like the the language that was used, it was like next level gaslighting. Phrasing like, oh the moon is a sun. Everybody knows that. Just unbelievable gaslighting, and just, I guess, that blind confidence that, uh, even though someone's telling you you're wrong, you still insist that you're correct. Like, just... Incredible. Dangerous, but incredible. Oh yeah, I'm going to Robin today, hang on.
Okay. Uh, first, let's paint buildings. We need to make these match. So, what? There we go. Copy, copy, copy. Hey, Mama Bear. Uh, how is the farm today? It's going well. Just continuing the uh, the march towards 10 million, but also making it look nice along the way. I've done quite a few things. Like, there's, there's a little bit difference there. Just mild cosmetic things wherever I could. This so I don't get confused <laughs> which one goes where. It's mainly the middle two. I can kind of show it off and not really be afraid of time. It is getting there. Can we put- oh, we can't paint that, that's a shame. Yeah, that's getting there. This is completely full of preserved jars now. So I'm gonna move on to the next bit. Okay. I painted what I needed to, but now let's... The only thing I can think of doing here is just putting another one of these, you know? Can't- oh. <laughs> One, one too far. But yeah, I mean, aside from that, just relaxing, I had a bit of a long day, so. It's nice to kick back. Okay, I'm gonna go look for these. I did say I would. <laughs> Pretty much effectively doubled the diamonds now. Oh yeah, I need to bring the diamond. Oh no, wait until they're done. It's fine. There we go. Okay. I mean, almost doubled. I think I ran out of stone again. So, this is why I'm getting all this stone. As you can see, <laughs> just how quickly a thousand stone just vanished. Oh yeah, I should show my slime hutch, actually. I like what I did there. Keep going there. Oh, this is done. All right, cool. I mean, I'm going to do more with that, but for now, I think this looks good. Yeah, just little, little detailing. Let's do that. 
So we're looking for five frozen geodes. There's one. This shouldn't take long. Hopefully. stress about that. Two. There's three. Hopefully this doesn't eat up the rest of the day. I do need more of these as well. I've used quite a bit of them. There's not many left. also had a disastrous thing happen. A new item from the mod was given to me, and upon first impression, I thought it was going to be something that made me money, but I looked it up, thankfully, and it's, it's a troll at the moment. Okay, we're done. Uh, but I do want all the ore. the item uh it's a golden piggy bank you get a letter in the mail and it's from that mysterious dude so you can put money in this and i was like oh maybe it's something where the more you put in maybe it'll give you rewards or something so i put one coin in just to see what it did it did nothing so immediately i was like all right let me look up this item and see what it does and i'll read the description again the golden piggy bank appears in the mail after 10 million gold. At the time of this writing, it appears to be decorational. You can put money into it, but you can't take it out. This is because the code does not store how much you've put in. Uh, I, 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 the code, I can, I, I look at it here. Like, it's literally, if the player has money, take one coin from them, and then play a sound called money. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing there to say. Um, update the amount of money held in the piggy bank. So. I'm glad I looked that up before dumping, I don't know, like 10 grand in there or something. In the hopes that it would actually do something. It's either an item that's unfinished. Or, uh, yeah, nice troll. Because the whole, the, the letter you get... It just looks like one of those scam letters that you get, like, you've won the lottery. Or, Microsoft is giving away two million dollars. Or, hello, it is me, your prince. I am here so you can help me, brother. Please help me send a hundred thousand dollars and I will wire you one million dollars. To avoid tax in my country. Yes, brother, please. Yes, help. It just had those vibes to it. So it, it's funny, but I, man, I feel bad for someone that doesn't look that up. <laughs> just pumps a bunch of money in there. 
you've seen those letters. Oh, we, we saved one. Um, that was from Microsoft. Quote, Microsoft. And, I mean, everyone knows what word art is, but like, you know those cheesy graphics that you could do in, in PowerPoint with text? Like rainbow 3D text? It was like that. It had the words Microsoft in the rainbow 3D text, and oh, it was just it was so good. Just the ugliest thing from a design perspective. I just I found it hysterical. I wish I still had the letter. Yeah, it's one of those things that I love laughing at things that are so horrible that they become good. If that makes sense. Like uh, the movie Mac and Me, for example. Like, that is a, an example of a movie that is so bad that I enjoy watching it because of how bad it is. Or like uh, Samurai Cop, that's another one. Um, the live action Super Mario Brothers movie. There's quite a few. Some of the internal emails you get at work look like scam emails. It amazes you how bad people are at writing. It, it honestly doesn't for me. <laughs> I guess it depends what industry and like I guess company slash department you work for, but there are people that get through life lying about what they can do and making it seem like they know more than they actually know. And skate by just by um, saying certain buzzwords. Has anyone seen, um, Better Off Ted? It's like a, a TV show that got a cult following that got cancelled, um, back in the day. But, ah, oh, such a good bit in that where, uh... I forget how it comes across, but basically... They, they come up with a term called Jabberwocky to describe a strategy that they're going to employ. And so, no one knows what Jabberwocky actually is, but everyone pretends that they do, like they've known the entire time. And this whole episode just is pretty much just how insane it gets, and no one admits that they don't know what Jabberwocky is, they just run with it. Because they don't want to seem useless, like they want to know that they know about their job, you know? Had to look up the movie Mac and Me, never heard of it. If you want to laugh hysterically at some of not only the worst acting, but some of like the most blatant product placement you've ever seen, the movie is basically a commercial for uh, Coca Cola and McDonald's. It's an ET knockoff. And uh, oh, it's, it's great. It's so weird. And uh, yeah. If you enjoy bad movies, I recommend it. It's also been uh, a bit that Paul Rudd has done anytime he's gone on Conan to promote a movie. Instead of showing the clip of his movie, he will show a particular scene from Mac and Me. And it's been a running joke for like over a decade. Probably closer to 20 years at this point. <laughs> like, every time it just happens. You know when Paul Rudd's gonna talk? To Conan O'Brien, it, it's he's going to show that clip every time, and you laugh every time because you know it's coming. And the clip is just so absurd, so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> 
had a movie night one night on Discord and uh, we watched it. It was great. Haven't done that in a while. Are we almost done here? We're almost done here. Oh, I missed the spot. Oh well. I think I missed fruit day. It's okay, I can do it now. In my defense, it is late at night, so like, <laughs> at a really long day. So I'm gonna forget things, you know? I don't have visual indicators to remind me, hey, go collect the fruit. I'm kind of rem relying on memory here. I love these icons. They're so good. I enjoy seeing the different ones. are just going absolutely mental with these truffles. Oh. There's still a few in here. I mean, okay, it's not, it's not looking bad. Like, I'll definitely get to 2 million before the end of spring, so... And it's going to, the amount of money I make is going to start climbing. So. I just need to boost it a bit more. So how many... I think I can still put a couple more cows in here. Let's see, we got... Uh, I wish you could kind of get like a inventory of animals. So let's see, we got... Four cows. Three... Goats. Unless one's roaming. I don't know how many goats I have. Does anyone know if there's a way to <laughs> look up what animals you have? I don't think there is. Okay, I see four goats now. I have to check at night. Okay. I counted four goats, four, four cows. Which means I can get two more of each. Wait until they go inside. Yeah. I just kind of wanted to get them today. Not exactly the greatest method, just waiting until the end of the day. Marnie won't sell me one if I don't have the room. Yeah, she won't, but I guess I want to try and keep uh, the same amount of each, so like 6-6. Six, six. Okay. 
guess we have another egg, huh? Okay, there we go. I'll start with two goats, because I'm pretty certain there's only four goats. The cows are the ones that I'm not sure of. And worst comes to worst, I just sell it. <laughs> um, I need two names for goats. Anyone got names? Oh, you know what? This is probably a good way to see as well, because time has stopped. Okay, I see five goats. I see five goats. Four cows. So one more goat. Either way, it's one more goat. Chew it? Okay, sure. Okay, and now... Cow. Uh, name for a cow. I'm so uncreative right now. <laughs> Glenda? You don't know? You know what, you know what's really really scary about this is like okay I know I know some people right and one of them he's a dude who likes to call himself Chewy and he has a sister called Glenda <laughs> and it's, it's kind of like trippy that you picked those two names if you get the third sibling I'll, I'll be shocked When I read Chewy, I was like, okay, yeah, it reminded me of that guy. And and then you said the name, and I was like, what? Um, okay. I guess I should think of one. Let me think. Something like a pun on Moo. Man, I'm drawing blanks here. <laughs> this one's... I think this one's lame, but it's all I, it's all I can think of. Like Mulan? Alright, that's better. I was gonna say Moolah. Like... You know, make money. Like this. But like, that... One letter off. I'm going with that. <laughs> Let's just make sure, alright? I'm pretty sure we've got... Yeah, there's like a... Yep, okay. So now we've got the perfect balance. Okay. And I will need to put up a new silo as well. Because we need to start uh, storing more food for the winter. Okay. There is a truffle outside the fence in the grass. Of course there is. Where? Oh, other side. I can imagine. For some reason they're like putting it along the fence. Not sure why. Maybe if I put like some furniture there it'll prevent them from doing it. Okay, uh... 
Yeah, I might try that, actually. You know what? It's too much effort. I was gonna go buy a bunch of cosmetic flowers to put along there, but I have to buy a lot of them, really, to cover that up. It's just gonna eat up too much money. I changed my mind. Remember the tea I did. <laughs> Just very ow oh, crap very quickly. Also been making a habit to come here as well, because this is good money. Speaking of good money, I need to sell all this. I'm going to now. The gem berries can't be used. I thought maybe the mod would allow them to be used. But nope. They're just static. Wait, I got rid of them already. Oh, okay. That's fine. Just making sure I didn't place them elsewhere. I can just sell those. Okay. Badlands to the cave for more stone. Okay, uh, we have enough to do another batch of wine that I'm going to sell with Fairy Rose, so we'll do that. I can almost stop coming here. I've collected enough souls to amass a bunch of uh, haste elixirs. Realistically, how much I have. That's, it might seem like a lot, but it's five per elixir. So if I'm using one a day, it's still... It covers me for like... Well, in terms of souls, not... I still need to get the void essences, which... I only have enough for 20, realistically. So covers like a season. 
I need more Void Essence. I sold a bunch of them. It's a kind of regret now, but oh well. It's okay. Yeah, I might take some of those out and put them in the normal ones next time. Because they had a bunch saved up, I just didn't know at what rate it was going to consume them, you know? It seems like it keeps up with it, so I guess that's good. As long as it keeps up with it. Just do one thing quickly, so I don't forget. Just put that back to the hard ones, because I don't need them anymore. <laughs> Go back and get more stone. <laughs> this, is, this is what my year four has become, is just kind of alternating between wood and stone. So I am trying to mix it up with making the farm look nice so it doesn't get repetitive and boring. Stone, stone, wood, stone. Yeah, pretty much. But at a certain point, I will just be decorating more or less. There's still more buildings I want to construct. So. It's just in terms of, uh, like, the rest of the game... Like, socializing events, it's, it's just, there's no need anymore. I guess that's the thing. I guess just be grateful. No, you know what? If I was playing vanilla, this would probably be more interesting, because at least there'd be risk. Whereas in these caverns, they're amazing in terms of finding stone, but... I will admit that they're not exactly the most exciting thing in the world because there's no danger here anymore, really. Unless I really don't pay attention. If I was playing vanilla, it would be skull caverns that I'd be doing over and over again. This is why I don't think I can go beyond year four. For this, I just I, I don't know what I would do to to keep things fresh, you know. Once I get the farm looking nice, I mean, what else is there? Like, okay, sure, I could make it like just it's con it's conflicting goals, ultimately, because at a certain point. I can't make any more money because I, I'm leaving space to make things look nice. It's not going to be one of these farms that like has every little piece of it like optimized to make money. It seems like it's like a, such a long time away, but honestly. I imagine I'll be- <laughs> I'll be done with this- with, um, year four by next week, I think. I mean, if I go at the current rate that I'm going at... It's okay. <laughs> Eventually it does have to come to an end. But I will... I will do Animal Crossing immediately after, so... It's not like the relaxing streams that I've been having are gonna end. And they're kind of in the same vein of one another. Just... 
I guess Animal Crossing's real time is, I, I guess, trickier to manage. I might have to fake... I might have to fake the, the clock. Because I'd be playing at night time and that's... that's not great. <laughs> I might have to set my time zone to, like, pretend that it's in Europe or something. So then it's kind of prime time. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Night is not optimal for that game. No, exactly. Get in bed. Ooh. There are advantages to it, but early on you do struggle if you play at night time. Um, I still haven't decided whether it's going to be New Leaf that I've never played before, or... Uh, Horizons, which I have. I've, I streamed during the pandemic, it's just... I got uh, a new Switch to replace my old one, and so I can make a new file if I want to. Kind of do the whole thing again, because I kind of regret not recording that. Those were fun streams. I just, I wasn't, I wasn't sure how much I'd get into it. But, you know, 2020 was uh, quite the year. So, yeah. Which Switch do I recommend? Uh, I mean, we're kind of at a point now where I, I can't imagine the current Switch will be around for the next year or two. I would be shocked if Nintendo doesn't announce what's next by the end of this year. The wording they used was like very hedging. They have nothing to announce this year. And typically when they say that, they mean the fiscal year, which means it's like, that's over halfway through this year or sooner. I don't know how it works for them. So it's possible they could still announce something this year. Um, but I mean, if you do want one, and money's not an issue, the OLED, the OLED is the way to go. Um, I, I have one personally, and just that screen is, is worth it. Um, it is, it is worth it. And the battery life as well is so much better. But I mean, I, unless there's something that, like, if you can name say six games this is very arbitrary but six games that you really really want to play and they're kind of like yep i have to buy this console i would wait <laughs> when did the switch come out like i feel like this console is, is this is year six of the switch right i'm on, not yeah it came out march the 2017 so um, it's going to, it's going to turn six this year. It's, it's soon. It's going to be six years old, that console. Which, wild, right? Like, it, it only feels like yesterday. So, it, I would be shocked if they don't announce something this year. If not a successor, but something revised, I don't know. I mean, I got one because mine has seen better days. The battery doesn't last, like, it's a day one Switch, right? Like, I got mine the first day, so my Switch was approaching six years old. It just wasn't lasting anymore. And, uh, it had stuff like, uh, the case. I don't have the original case for it because it cracked. So, yeah, it, it had seen better days, and I was like, alright. Even if they announce something within the next year, I guess it... Yeah, whatever. It is what it is. But if you're just getting it for Animal Crossing... It's effectively you're paying however many hundred dollars to play Animal Crossing, which... I would personally buy the Steam Deck and play Stardew in bed. 
And you have the option of playing other games. Other than that. Um, and that, ha that hasn't been out for long. I wish that they sold the Steam Deck in Australia. I, I would get one. But they don't. Um, some companies have started selling great imports. So they're sourcing them from Japan and America. And Valve, um, the other day, just uh, put out a tweet. And they're like, just a reminder, buying from third-party vendors is highly discouraged. You're risking blah, 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 blah. And that thread is such a dumpster fire because everyone's just like, how about you announce when the Steam Deck is coming to other regions so we don't have to do this instead of remaining silent for three years, almost. Particularly Australia, like, I'm surprised it hasn't come out in Australia yet. And it's just that thing, if, like, people don't have an alternative to purchase, people will find a way. Do I think the Steam Deck is better? Um, I mean, we're talking about in... Okay. If you... It depends on your primary use of the Switch slash Steam Deck, right? If it's going to be something where you're going to play on a TV primarily, there's no point in getting the Steam Deck. You may as well just get um, a smart TV that... Uh, there's smart TVs that have Steam built into it, so you can um, just send your signal from your computer to Steam, which is what you'd be doing on the Steam Deck. Or I think Apple TV can do it now as well. But if it's something where you're going to use it like a portal dev portable device, where you're going to like play it on the couch or in bed or maybe take it on the commute, then that's where those consoles shine. Otherwise, it's you're basically looking at, well, what games am I going to play on it? So that's pretty much it. Is like If you're going to use the portability factor, absolutely, the Steam Deck is great. And if you already have a Steam library, I should point out as well. But yeah, I mean, Steam, the Steam Deck just won't have Nintendo exclusives. That's the only thing, so. If it was a case of, like, let's say you wanted to play Mario Odyssey, you wanted to play Zelda, you wanted to play Mario Kart, you had, like, a, la a long list of Nintendo games you wanted to play, the Switch is more worth it, just to play them. But if it's a case of where it's just one game, it's... Really, you're spending several hundred dollars to play one game, which... I mean, if you enjoy that game and the series and you want to do that, life's too short. I mean, enjoy yourself, right? But... I guess just consider that. <laughs> so... Everyone values things differently at the end of the day, so... If you feel like you value your experience in Animal Crossing a lot, then yeah, go for it, right? I, I can say that there are certain games that I highly value the experience I had on them, and... I would 100% purchase a con console straight up just to play those games, because, you know, they have a special memory for me. So there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, uh, I can go upgrade the shed, so I'm gonna do that, I think. Provided I have the stone. Your daughter wants you to play Animal Crossing with her, it's mostly about that. Oh, then, if it's about connecting with someone, then do it. There's un uh, it's unlikely that even if a new Switch is announced, I don't think Animal Crossing is going to be the first series they put on that thing, so... And it'll, even if they do, I get the feeling it's going to be backwards compatible, like, it, I'd be shocked if it wasn't. Um. Okay. I'm going to go to Robin and then come back. 
Wait, wrong thing. Sophia, please. Sophia, please! That's the only thing I, I, one more thing I'll say on the Switch is just ignore any talk of people saying that the Switch is, is not powerful and that it's not worth it because it's not powerful and like an Xbox is better or a PlayStation's better because they do better graphics and a Steam Deck is a better handheld because it does better graphics. No, it's a case of the games that are available, the experiences, who you're going to play with and what you personally prefer at the end of the day. It's Power isn't everything, and people tend to focus on computer specs way too much, when in reality, it's kind of like... Anytime people talk about specs, it's in a vacuum. At the end of the day, like, most game developers will just be like, alright, uh, this is the console version. And with some exceptions, it's just kind of, it's not, there's, between the high-end stuff, there's not really that much difference. Because nothing will take the extreme advantage of a console, ever. I will admit, though, the Switch is feeling its age. Um, the load times on some games and just... The graphics will never be as good as anything else, but the trade-off is you have a portable device. That's pretty much it. And you can play Nintendo titles, which you can't play anywhere else. So, yeah. Oh wait, not that. You've been a Nintendo family. It is sentimental as well as fun. Okay. And yeah, I mean... That's, that's enough. Maybe they'll release one soon, probably after you get one. Uh, yeah, that, uh, okay. It is, it is unlikely that they're going to release one before June. Let's put it that way. Very unlikely. My bet would be that they're going to announce it sometime in October, November, and then it'll release March next year. That will be... that's what I'm thinking will happen. I don't think it's going to release this year, but I think they'll talk about it this year, at the very least. Because... Yeah, I mean, they kind of have to. <laughs> it's just the way it is. It's... There's no way that console is going to go seven years without them announcing a successor. It's just... It's a long way. It is, but... Eh, I mean... I'm convinced they would have done it sooner if um, the pandemic didn't happen. I'm almost convinced it would have it would have released this year if it wasn't for the pandemic. Because that basically messed up everyone. So... It's all speculation. This is just my instinct, so you know, don't take it as fact. This is just what I think. It might not ever come to light. Maybe, maybe this will be a console that lasts ten years. It's, I mean, the PlayStation Two. Geez, that thing had like a ridiculously long life. So. Just, yeah. If you want to enjoy yourself, don't stress too much about it at the end of the day. If you're only going to play Animal Crossing on it, then even if they do announce a new one, it'll probably be a few years before a new Animal Crossing or something comes out on it. So. The only regret would be if you wanted to play like Zelda or Mario or some other franchise and then they release a new console. Then it's kind of. Yeah, that's. That's unfortunate. Oh. 
I know someone's gonna disagree with me saying, like, what I said about console hardware. But... I just look at it as, particularly with the PS5 and Xbox, it's like, I'm sure one is more powerful than the other when push comes to shove. But... That's in a vacuum. It's kind of like... You could talk about a car that goes like 120 miles an hour and another one that goes 130 miles an hour. But if you're driving on a, on a road that has a speed limit of 60, why, why does it matter? <laughs> like, that's the, I guess that's the point. Is like, yeah, it could go that fast, it could do all these things, but that's highly dependent on the conditions that you're placing them under. Not everyone is going to take the fullest advantage of it, I guess is the point I was trying to make. Maybe I didn't phrase it that well, but that's the, the sentiment I was trying to get out. Console hardware doesn't matter because it's console PC master race. Yeah, and then there's also that argument as well, which I'm not I'm not gonna open that can of worms, but I grew I grew up on Nintendo consoles. Um never I didn't have a good PC until pretty much the end of uh Yeah, my senior year. Like that was that was pretty much when I got a computer for myself. That was capable of doing stuff. So. I just... I've always been about... Using what works for you. Personally. Like, for work, I use Mac OS. For streaming, I use Windows. And gaming, I use Windows. I've had... An Android phone. I've had a Windows phone. I've had... An iPhone. And I picked the one that I felt worked for me best. So, you know, I've seen it all. I should, I guess it's because it's blue, I should probably, I was going to sell it, but maybe not. Okay, I need to go do fruit collection on the island, otherwise I'll forget. Uh, no, wait, go to the park first, then I'll come back. Ah. <laughs> I had to get off the horse. This is going to be the rest of the evening. My trees finally grew. Oh yeah, the plague, the plague trees. Uh, I overcame the plague trees. <laughs> I kept stopping them from growing. It practically took two seasons to grow those trees. But it looks so nice, I just need to decorate it now. I really, really like how that turned out. Eventually I will make this area look good, it's just right now it's going to fuel the factories that I'm building. <laughs>
I've heard that, um, from an Animal Crossing perspective, that new leaf, a lot of the, um, I don't know what to, what to call you, but like, is it experience, is it old school, is it people who enjoy the series, but I guess aficionados, maybe? But I've heard multiple times that people think that New Leaf is better than New Horizons. So, I'll decide one way or another, but I'm leaning more towards New Leaf. Don't know in what way. Uh, one of the things they said that there was... So... There's fruit trees you can get in the game. Um, there's more in New Leaf, and there appears to be, like... At least at launch, I think it had more content. I'm not sure if that's still the case, but... People say there's more to do in New Leaf than New Horizons. But New Horizons has, like, a bunch of new flexibility. That, the, that New Leaf doesn't have, so... I don't know. If someone... Someone knows the Animal Crossing games and wants to, like... Clarify, feel free. I mean, either way, it's gonna be like a cozy game, right? I just, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Been <laughs> I feel like for the last two and a half to almost three years, I've just been going from one difficult game to another. So, it's, it's nice to do these kind of streams again. That's not to say I'm going to stop playing difficult games, I just... I need a break. I'm only doing prismatic challenge. Anything else, it's just gonna um, just take too much time away from earning the 10 mil I need to earn. <laughs> so, being very selective here. This year will, will be the year that I play The Last of Us as well. I would have done it last year for Halloween, but then they had to announce the remaster. Like... <laughs> that was my plan originally last year. I was like, alright, for Halloween, that's what I'm gonna play, and then play it for a bit after. But no. Well, the remaster, remake, it's like the second time they've remade that game. That's been one that I've been asked or recommended to play quite a few times. And I keep saying, yeah, this will be the year. Uh... Probably a good time to do it now as well, since the TV show's kind of just started as well. And I would imagine the internet's going to be riddled with just people talking about it and potentially spoiling things. I mean, I'm not that invested in it, so it's fine. The first episode is amazing. I've... I've heard people say it's the best video game adaptation they've seen. So, yeah. 
It's getting a lot of high praise. Okay. And we've arrived at the end of the season. <laughs> I'll do this much. But this will be the last day. I hate seeing that message in the bottom left corner because I still have just visions of your tree failed to grow overnight. Just seeing that message every day practically for a whole month. <laughs> it's not fun. Also, I think uh, one of the one of the children, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, it's just this child we have to interact with now. It's traumatized, yeah, it's just it's visual. You say something enough times, your brain just associates with it. Consider the sheer number of trees I've had to cut down to get this much sap. Okay, um... Alright, there we go. Just wanted a bit more coal. Oh, there's nothing to harvest today. We don't get one more batch. That's sad. Oh well. Okay, this is ready though. Um... Do I have fairy rose? If not, I might go buy some. We'll do another batch of fairy rose. I don't. Um, okay. I'll harvest and I'll go to Piers. I got so confused there. There's a seat there. That's what that was. I was like, what happened there? Trying to do this more systematically. I know I missed the tea leaf, I'll, I'll get it.
many pets. just uh, conveniently drops on. Oh, well, there's nothing here. Oh, no. I didn't come here yesterday. Okay. Well. It's okay. Oh, they're going, they're going to finish this grass very quickly. I have to get that silo up again. Oh, this one caught up. Wait, what is this? Glazed butterfish. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I find it really funny that these fish just give... Somehow are able to give cooked versions of themselves. I don't know. It's a little strange. How are they doing that? Do they sacrifice one of their own? <laughs> Cook themselves a little dark, yeah. Well, they are, it's kind of almost like a, a ritual where they, they consider a warrior or god and have to pick one for sacrifice. I mean, I did walk on water, so I don't know. It's a fish-eat-fish fish world out there, I don't know. I mean, it is, yeah, it does happen. should be more than enough. I'll do two lots of it. Keep missing that one. Stop it. This one, this is the one that's hard to see. Oh yeah, I know. I mean, I appreciate the detail in the seeds being different, but I really think they should just be kind of like the melon seeds, are just large and easy to see. There are some that are just so difficult, like um, this one and I think wheat. The wheat ones are just dark and very subtle. When you have fertilizer down, it's just so tricky to see it if you've missed the spot.
Okay. Gonna do something real quick. Yeah, I'm interrupting this. Just considering this for a sec. Okay. Oops. That worked perfectly. <laughs> ah, the watering can. It doesn't matter. Let's just... It doesn't matter. It, whatever, it's fine. I can go get it and come back. I won't be lazy. But there we go. Just... There's less of a need for me to now. Not sure if I put another layer here if it'll be doable. I mean I can definitely do another six, but I don't know if I can do another twelve. I can try. It's fine. Um, I gotta get the watering can. What? Why is that one randomly... Okay. I, I guess. Can I... Are they just stuck there? 
Oh, here we go. They just needed waking up. And then the idea is you stand here and they kind of get lured to you. Okay. Anyway. It doesn't matter, I have the slime ring, so... Yeah, maybe I should just... Oh, well. I mean, see if I can reach it. Because if I can reach it from here, I think I can. Then that's fine. This will be okay. Like, I'll just leave this set up like this. I probably should have done that. <laughs> okay. This is kind of reset the timings. I'll just go collect the others. It doesn't take long. I guess it's for the best, because then like, it starts from one. What did I even run out? Oh, I can't look at it here. Oh, you know what? No, it's good that I did this, because... These were going to disappear anyway, it's not like a greenhouse. I should do this at the end of each season. No, so that worked out for the best, because they're going to disappear. See? I, I had the right idea. <laughs> I had the right idea. <laughs> Just took me a while to realize it. Okay, uh... I love these unique icons. Am I sleeping soon? Yeah, this is my last day. I have work tomorrow, so... I have to go... But yeah, oh, I guess on that note... Let me start wrapping things up. Uh, yeah, chat, thanks for uh, hanging out tonight. Appreciate it. And, uh... Yeah. As always, it's been nice playing a chill game, especially after a long day, so. For anyone new to the stream, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the content. If you want to find me elsewhere on the internet, uh, YouTube's the best place to find me. I have multiple channels, uh, one for highlights, one for... Streams, sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Full streams. And another one where I'm doing YouTube streams every now and then on the weekends. Typically Saturday and Sunday, my time. I hope you do check it out. Uh, if you do, check out the playlist area. You'll find something you'll enjoy, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah. YouTubers, if you're watching this replay later, thanks for clicking the video. And, as always, if you want to support the stream, though not necessary, uh, giving it a thumbs up goes a long way for me. So, if you do do that for me, I appreciate you for doing that. Okay, I think I got everything done. Um, yeah. And I guess I just want to say as well, just, you know, I hope everyone does have a good rest of the day, but also, just, I guess I don't say this enough, but just... Take care of yourselves and just be good to one another. That's just... 
times are tough in this world these days, and I don't know. Just be good to one another is all I, I can say, and strive to be your best. That might seem random and out of nowhere, but I just felt like it needed to be said. So yeah. Okay, let me... You remember the 2020 outro that always ended with be careful and take care of yourself in these times of Animal Crossing. Yeah. It was a good message, but, you know, just because we're out of the pandemic, I think sometimes it's just good to hear that, you know. Okay, let's save it. Okay. And yeah, we're, we're done. Um, again, thank you for watching. Appreciate you for hanging out. And uh, yeah, as always, take care of yourselves, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. And again, thank you so much for uh, watching the streams and uh, allowing me to do what I do. Being able to play whatever game I want and people kind of just kick back and chill. It does mean a lot to me, guys. So thank you so much. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow after work at some point. So we'll do more of this in the evening, but also uh, I'll probably play Melatonin. I didn't get a chance to do it today. I just had uh other stuff to deal with so yeah i'll make up for it tomorrow all right take care everyone <laughs>